A millipede, unlike a slug, is either a male or a female. In southern Africa, where there are many different species, both sexes spend the winter in hibernation, curled up in the leaf litter or beneath the bark. As the temperatures rise with the coming of spring, they all unwind themselves and set off to look for a mate. Finding one in the tangled undergrowth is not easy. But this male forest millipede knows that he can increase his chances if he heads upwards into the trees. Leaving the safety of the undergrowth may seem a risky thing to do, but these millipedes secrete a poison from pores in their armour, and their conspicuous red and black colours warn predators to leave them alone. They emerge in thousands. Surprisingly, perhaps, a male, when he does find a female, is not met with a friendly greeting. Quite the reverse. She coils up. This is her way of sorting out the men from the boys. Only the strongest and fittest male will have the strength to force her coils apart. To help him do so, he has white suction pads on the bottom of his feet, which give him a good grip. Eventually, she relaxes, and he lifts her up so he can extend two specially modified legs with which he inseminates her. Once inserted, these legs swell so that the partners become fastened together. And that's important, because it will take him a couple of hours to transfer his sperm. But there are lots of males around. And before long, another one turns up. The new arrival checks out the pair with his antennae. If they're not tightly bound together, he may have a chance of taking over. He pushes between them, levering them apart. Gradually, he manages to unzip their legs. The first male's white mating legs are dragged out. He's been defeated. It will be the second, stronger male who fertilizes her eggs. <laughs>